Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Oh, that, you know, people who uh, want is- Um, it's really uh, difficult right now for all of us here in Milwaukee, Kenosha Racing Area, um, and what has happened right now has just allowed me to rethink, reassess. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are um, feeling a lot of anxiety, so am I. I, too, know that this is a battle for our soul. This is a spiritual war here, and also a battle for our our minds. Um, to be laced with fear like this and to be constantly shooting out cortisol is not normal, it's not healthy, and for any society to want um, its inhabitants to live like this would have to be, in my opinion, a society that is pure demonic. When the Indian and then Native American, early Americans, real Americans said that the white man speak with forked tongue. Y'all have to really assess that. That was a long time ago and that was told to you. Now for all the people out there that get it, and I hate to have to always send a reminder, but it's important that I do because I have uh, all different types of listeners. So, those of you who get it, y'all get it. Collectively, you all already know that y'all group is a problem. You also should know that racism is not a problem for us. It's really a white people problem. So, in my humble opinion, it seems to be that more Caucasians need to go into their family members and eradicate these cancers up out of their families because they know who they are. They know when they have a family member that is not psychologically healthy, just like we know. The sad part, though, is when we don't do nothing and is uh, when we remain silent, then it seems that we're happy. It is that we're consenting to this type of behavior, this type of madness. So for those of y'all who don't subscribe to it, then you already know. Um, No progressive society can go on this way. None. What in the hell do you expect? I mean, I don't understand how you, because this not only affects black people, it affects white folks. Um, And so now here in Wisconsin, I guess we got vigilantes or um, individuals that have taken law into their own hands, radical justice. And they've decided to shoot three, two of them fatally. Um, All in the name of this protest. So if I may, I'm going to read this article and This article was done by Braxton Booker and Mark Katov. 
Um, an, El an Illinois teenager has been arrested in connection to a deadly shooting on Tuesday in Kenosha, Wisconsin. During the third consecutive night of a protest following the police shooting of a black resident. Kyle Rittenhouse, a 17-year-old white male, has been charged with first-degree intentional homicide and was taken into custody by police in Antioch, Illinois, located about 15 miles west of Kenosha. The Kenosha Police Department released a few details early Wednesday but confirmed that two people have been shot and killed while a third person suffered non suffered non life-threatening injuries. So again, someone came in from Illinois um, and did this. Officials said the investigation is ongoing and that the names, ages, and cities of the victim's residences is still being determined. Police said that the shooting took place just before midnight. Rittenhouse is in custody. He's in the custody of the Lake County Judicial System pending an extradition hearing to transfer custody from Illinois to Wisconsin, according to the Antioch police. Our village of Antioch is deeply saddened by all loss of life. Our hearts and prayers extend to the friends and family who lost a loved one, said the Antioch Mayor Lawrence Hansen. Kenosha County Sheriff David Beth told Milwaukee Journal Sentinel one of the victims suffered a gunshot to the head. The other victim was shot in the chest. However, he was unsure where the third victim was shot. He also told the paper he believed at least one person will be taken into custody based on the video he had seen. Beth told Kenosha News both the Kenosha Police Department and the FBI are investigating the incident. The newspaper also reports that both a shooter and one of the fatalities were white males and that dozens of shots were heard at the protest site. The notes there earlier surfaces between, I mean, it notes that there were earlier scuffles between Black Lives Matter supporter and armed individuals they did not lead to gunfire earlier in the night. Wisconsin Public Radio reporter Rachel Vasquez said a small group of protesters arrived later and threw objects at the police. President Donald Trump tweeted on Wednesday that he would be sending law, federal law enforcement in the National Guard to Kenosha to restore law, restore law and order. Um, Tony Evers had agreed to accept the federal assistance. Today, I will be sending federal law enforcement and the National Guard to Kenosha to restore law and order. Donald J. Trump. The video shows a chaotic scene. One video posted to social media shows a chaotic scene where multiple gunshots can be heard. In it, a man is jogging down the middle of the street carrying a long gun. A person can be heard on the video asking, what'd he do? He shot someone, another person answers. Moments later, the man with the gun falls to the ground. Someone yells, get his ass. The man then turns on his backside, hoists the gun as people run at him, including one person who jumps and kicks at him. The man then appears to start shooting at the people around him. One man is shot at close range, stumbles off and falls to the ground. A second man seems to be shot in the arm or shoulder and retreats. Cries of medic, medic can be heard. Later in the footage, the gunman approaches law enforcement with his arm raised above his head, but no one stops or apprehends him before the video seems to cut off. Did y'all hear what I said? 
The gunman approaches law enforcement with his arms raised above his head, but no one stops or apprehends him before the video cuts off. In a statement Tuesday released prior to the shooting, Kenosha Sheriff's Department said it was bracing for what will likely be another very challenging night in Kenosha County. It also reminded residents of the curfew that was in effect from 8 to uh, 7 a.m. local time. The, the sheriff said armed civilians had been patrolling Kenosha streets during the protest, but he was not clear if a shooter was linked to that group. They're a militia, he told the paper. They're like a vigilante group. Wisconsin is an open carry state, meaning that the gun owners can legally carry loaded firearms in public. A Facebook group calling itself Kenosha Guard posted a message Wednesday saying it was not sure if the shooter had answered all the group's call to arms. The group had been open to the public as of Wednesday morning, but has since disappeared. NPR took screen grabs of the messages posted to it before it was blocked from the public view. We are unaware if the armed citizen was answering uh, the Kenosha Guard's malicious call to arms, the statement said. We're unaware. Just like with the shooting of Jacob Blake, we all need the facts and evidence to come out before we make a judgment. God bless and stay safe in Kenosha. In a separate post on Tuesday, the group addressed Kenosha's police chief and announced that the group had been more than 3,000 volunteers who said that they would be present in several neighborhoods in the city. It also warned law enforcement not to tell members of the group to go home under threats of arrest and that the militia would outnumber law enforcement agents. agents. Wow. The government, the governor, Tony Evers, the state's Democratic governor, declared a state of emergency on Tuesday and ordered additional Wisconsin National Guard troops to assist local law enforcement, bringing the number to 250 troops deployed on the city. Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson, a Republican, said in a tweet Wednesday morning that it was heartbreaking that violence in the city had led to fatality. He then chastised the state's governor for not yet accepting an offer from President Trump for more National Guard troops. On Wednesday, members of the Kenosha board sent a letter to Evers requesting that the number of troops be increased to 1,500 and for them to be sent here immediately. Um, the protests were sparked in Kenosha, a city of 100,000 people, about 30 miles south of Milwaukee. Where you at, Nikki Van Nexel? This is your town that's falling apart. And I know you got some personal issues that you're probably still grieving about. But, man, this is a good way to um, show your social support for your city. I seen Karan Butler... But I'm looking for Nikki Van Exel uh, to say something. Say something to these people in your in your city, because they need to hear from you. Um, after a video posted on social media that went viral on Sunday showing Blake being shot multiple times in the back by police as he leaned into a gray SUV, Blake's three young sons were in the vehicle when he was shot. Now, either these boys are going to grow up to hate police officers and they're going to grow up to uh, want to see y'all dead, want to see y'all shot, want to see y'all taken from y'all families as well because you have traumatized these babies. You have traumatized us. And I'm at the point where 
I'm like, we cannot keep creating uh, fodder for uh, 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 for people to be slaughtered. I think we need to uh, take a serious um, thought that if we can't produce children and turn them into new Africans and build a war, uh, 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 army of warrior soldiers, then what are we having kids for? To get them slaughtered on the streets like this? The white folks keep on slaughtering us. The little cops keep slaughtering us. And nobody busting back. It's not even a natural response. It's not even a natural response for somebody to keep brutalizing you this way and you do nothing. The protests have just taken over Kenosha. The family attorney, Benjamin Crump, addressed the media on Tuesday afternoon confirming that Blank was Blake was paralyzed from the waist down. He also noted at the time of the press conference that Blake was in another surgery and it's going to take a miracle for him to ever walk again. Another attorney for the family, Patrick Salvi, shared vivid details of the extent of Blake injuries, including a bullet that went through some or all of his spinal cord, damaged the kidney and liver. Blake also was shot in the arm, had holes in his stomach, and had to have the majority of his colon and small intestine removed, Salvi said. On Monday, the Wisconsin Department of Justice said that it was investigating the shooting of Blake and that it was being assisted by the Kenosha County Sheriff's Department. The officers in the Blake shooting have not been identified. But officials said they have been placed on administrative leave, leave and are cooperating with the investigation. Now, this is when it comes to your uh, um, um, doxing specialists and all those people. This is what y'all. This is what your job should be. There's no way in the world these guys should be able to go home at night uh, and like nothing happened. Uh, uh-uh. and I'm tired of it. I'm tired. Their lives need to be changed, just like our lives are changed. And I mean it. And I know I'm going to take some flat for, for y'all. But like I said, I'm into natural responses, and this is not one. It's a time for war, and it's a time for peace. It's a time for everything under the sun. Now, I'm not asking for no all-out slaughter. Hell, we already in a race war. I keep hearing people talk about, oh, it's going to be a race war. It's gonna, we already in it. They're already gunning us down. And they've been doing it for 400 years. These are nothing but the patty rollers, the slave catchers. This is what this has evolved to. This is what this is. This is exactly what it is. You have to ask God to protect you and to put the angels of protection around you. When you open up your mouth, you ask God to speak through you. And you do what you can to keep yourself alive and your family alive. I want to send my prayers out to the Blake children to have to watch that for their fathers. You know, they got the nerve to be arresting these people in Louisville for calling for justice for Breonna Taylor. This shit has got to stop. I'm just telling you, it's got to stop. Otherwise, you know, who cares? If they don't care about America, if they don't care about America, how can we? These police departments 
have got to be redone. They cannot go on like this. This is evolvement from slave catchers and paddy rollers, and they're patrolling our neighborhoods as such. And when they see us, they attack us. They kill us. They kill our babies and our grandbabies so we won't have no future. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm sick and tired of it. And we got to start having some natural responses. I want you to hear my words. We got to start having some natural, not unnatural, like they've made us, natural responses. I'll see you in the next video.